everyone. It's Adriana here from Adu Lab, and today we're going to be talking about Robots TXT file. So this is a file on your Shopify store, and we're going to be talking about what it is and where to find it, and if you're seeing any notifications from Google that you have some issues with your Robots TXT file such as index, but blocked by robots TXT. This is the video for you because we're gonna be covering everything in full depth. So definitely stick around and we'll go over everything from start to finish in this tutorial. All right, so what is a robots TXT file? Well, a robots TXT file tells search engine bots which pages they can access and which ones they cannot. So a search engine crawler, also known as a Google bot, is a robot that crawls around and visits many websites to better understand what the website is all about. So a Google bot will go to your website and it'll access your product pages and it'll read through the whole product page and it'll tell Google, this is the product, it's a stainless steel barbecue, and it, there's this many quantity, this is the price per unit, and stuff like that. So it's about content and understanding what the page is all about. If you have a Shopify store, then a search engine crawler has most likely visited your website in the past, probably many of times, and they found information and then they sent it back to Google. So the purpose of a robots TXT file is also to prevent your site from being overwhelmed with these requests uh, that can really slow down your website. So the robots TXT files main purpose, again, just to summarize, is to let Google know which pages they can crawl or access and which pages they cannot. So if you're getting a notification from Google that says, indexed though blocked by robots txt file what the heck does this mean so 99.99% .99 of the time this is nothing to worry about it's totally normal and it's normal for shopify to block these google robots from crawling on certain pages on your website there's nothing wrong with this uh, first of all i should interject here and say that your robots txt file is actually automatically generated by Shopify. So if you're wondering how uh, that was created, Shopify makes it and they also maintain it. So there's nothing to really do on your robots TXT file because Shopify uh, handles this for you. Also, it is for SEO benefits. So you don't want uh, the Google bots crawling your you know, checkout page because it can steal page rank from other pages. So basically Shopify is letting these search engine crawlers access certain pages on your website and then blocking the search engine crawlers from other pages that they don't need to access. Uh, we'll go over the SEO benefits in a little bit. So let's give you an example of a robots TXT blocked page example. So an example would be uh, that they can't crawl your checkout page. Now, why is this? Um, it has to do again with security measures as well as SEO. A checkout page does not need to rank for SEO and it's best that it's you know, blocked by crawlers. Uh, you don't want these bots crawling your checkout page. In fact, you want these pages to be blocked by your Shopify robots TXT. Uh, so when it says they've been indexed, uh, this is also a good thing. Uh, index just means that Google has visited the page and knows its content and it's eligible to be shown on search results. Uh, what pages should be blocked by the robots txt file? Uh, some examples are the account slash register page. Another is the account slash login page slash checkout. So when I say slash, it's your website slash checkout, your website name slash checkouts with an S. So these are just some examples to name a few. Totally normal, nothing to worry about. And um, remember when you're getting these notifications from Google, they're just letting you know everything about your website. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, there's something bad associated with these notifications that you're getting from Google. They're just letting you know everything that's going on with your website. And then it's up to you to decipher <laughs> through this Google lingo. I know it's hard to understand sometimes and intimidating, but then, you know, you can look at the information and say, all right, is this good or bad? So thankfully we have this 
tutorial for you guys so you know that when you see a notification from Google and it says that your checkouts page has been blocked by robots.txt file, you don't have to freak out and you know it's totally normal. But what things should you look out for? Now, you should always be aware of each page on your website, which ones are being blocked by robots.txt file. So you can know, all right, this one's fine. This one's fine. This one's fine. Oh, wait, this one looks suspicious. I should take a look at that. One way to monitor which pages are being blocked by your robots.txt file is by signing up for a free account on Google Search Console. Now, Google Search Console is a great way to just see what's going on with your website, and they'll send you these automatic emails about any potential issues. Again, I'll just reiterate that Google sends out an email notice about all pages blocked by robots.txt and even the pages that are totally normal, so no need to freak out. Um, when should you actually worry? So if you see a product page is being blocked by your robots.txt file, this could be a potential issue and worth looking into because of course you want all product pages to be accessed by uh, Google. So that would be something to kind of keep an eye on. And where is your robots.txt file located? Basically it's your website's name you know, so it could be amysdogtreats.com and then slash robots.txt. That's it. So that's where you can find it. It's going to look really weird. It's going to be, it'll look very uh, computery basically. Um, and you don't need to understand it. Again, it's for Google. So it's for search engines. It's for robots. So it's not supposed to be human readable. Um, can you edit your Shopify robots TXT file? No, you cannot. Um, you are using Shopify as a hosting service. And again, they are doing all of this for you automatically by maintaining your robots TXT file and blocking the pages that they think that Google shouldn't access. So you don't need to edit it. And if your shopping cart page is being blocked uh, by search engines, again, this is helpful for your SEO because it allows your product pages to be found more easily by customers on search results. That way your product pages can rank higher than your checkout page. How can you hide a page from search engines? Now, this is may sound similar to what we're talking about here, but it's actually a little different. Uh, Google states in their help docs that you should not use robots.txt as a means to hide your web pages from Google search results. So what does this mean? It means that if you want to actually hide a page from search engines, Google recommends that you use no index. Now, no index directives is a totally different topic and we can cover that in another video. And how do you test your robots.txt file? Well, Google does has a tester that you can use and I will link to it in the description below. Um, it's a helpful tool if you want to see specific URLs that are being blocked from the Google web crawler. So I just wanted to wrap up this video and let you know some helpful tools for monitoring your Google activity and your SEO. So a great tool is called Get Clicked SEO. It's a Shopify app and it works on all Shopify stores. And this app is really cool because it has a lot of great automatic features. So you can install it and it'll automatically install this code called Rich Snippet Code. Uh, Rich Snippet Code, also known as JSONLD and Structured Data. Uh, this code is really great because it helps your customer reviews that are on your website show up on Google search results. So if you've ever seen the star ratings or, you know, the product price and the in stock availability show up on Google search results and this product just pops out and looks really nice because it's bigger and more colorful and just has a lot more information, uh, this is called a rich snippet. This also works with Google Shopping. So if you are running ads, uh, we feed in the information from the product, all current details to go to the Google Shopping and you know your product will be showing up to date uh, with the correct price and correct quantity, correct in-stock availability and the correct reviews. And also some other key features of the Get Clicked SEO app are that we have a keyword research tool so you can find keyword phrases that you can use for your product so that you can rank. We also have a keyword 
rank tracker, also known as a keyword monitoring tool. So you can see how, you know, you're doing track your progress. You know, if you're trying to rank for the term stainless steel barbecue, uh, you can type that into our app and then we can tell you where on Google you rank. There's also a tool on the get clicked SEO app for editing your meta tags. So if you want to edit your page title, your meta description, your alt text, your product title, um, different things like that, we help with that. And we also have neat little notifications to let you know if you need to alter something so that it's more SEO friendly so that you can look good to Google. All right, guys, uh, if you're interested in that app, we are offering a seven day free trial. So you can go ahead and click the link down below. I'll include it so you can try it out for free and see if you like it. And we do offer VIP service. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I will definitely email you an answer. And if you guys have any questions about Robots TXT, go ahead and leave those comments down below as well, and we'll definitely respond to them. I hope you've enjoyed this video about what Robots TXT is, how to fix those errors, what not to freak out about, what to pay attention to, where to find the Robots TXT file, all that good info. Hope you have a better understanding of it. All right, guys, we'll be back with some more SEO tutorials uh, for Shopify. And just make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get our next video. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this and we'll see you next time. Take care.